In this video, we'll talk about how to import data into an Access Database table from a CSV file. A CSV file is comma separated values. It's typically an Excel file that first you save, like usual, and then you do File, Save As, and change the type to a CSV file, which in effect turns it into a text file, amazingly enough. Here I have an example of an Excel spreadsheet that I had made previously and I uh, did file save and then after that I did file save as and I'll leave it in the same folder, go down to browse and change the type from a DOC, an XLSX to a comma, they call it here comma delimited, but it's comma comma delimited, but is comma separated value, CSV file. I'll just cancel that off. And uh, notice if you look up here in the data types that, that everything is a data type of general here. It's a little bit fussy when you export these. And I'll need to close this file now so that I can use it. So let me do that. Close, close, close. All right. Here I have an access uh, table that I made, and it uh, has certain field names, which are the same as the column headings over there. And this one actually has a dual primary key because it's going to be a many-to-many -many table. And I'll have to close that table also in order to make this work. I'll go up to the external data tab, and again, I'm importing, not exporting, so I use the import side. And you would think you would ex import from an Excel file, but it's not XLSX. It's a text file because it's CSV. So we'll do text file again. We'll go find the file. It happens to be down in the document section. And if you look, wait just a second. Look at all we're looking for here is txt csv tab and .asc ASCII files. So you can tell that that's the kind we're supposed to use. I'll open that. And we'll do the same thing, append. There isn't anything in there right now, but that's okay. And I'm putting it, no, let me put it in this one, seminar offerings. And then I'll click OK. Now you have to read the directions on this one. Do we want delimited such as a comma or tab? Yes, we do. Yes, that looks right so far. This one's a little bit trickier. And now this time, what do you want to use as your delimiter? And there you can see that word delimiter if you haven't seen it before. But also notice that this time we have to say the first row contains field names. Aha! Uh -huh. So we'll be sure to check that. All right. If you don't check that, maybe I'll just say it like this instead of doing it for you. If you don't check that, you'll get an error message and partway through your records, it will show an extra set of mistaken records. And you'll get an error message if you can notice it. Well, anyway, click Finish. I'm having trouble with this mouse. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Oh, dear. And now I'm getting an error message. Zero were deleted. The contents of fields, well, let's see. Do you want to proceed anyway? Yes. And do I want to save the import steps? No. Let's open it and see what we got. I put it in this one table. And hmm, even though it was yelling at me, looky there. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now, if I had had an error when I was importing it, which it looked like I did, but typically then what you'll get is a seminar offerings. That's the one I'm on right now. Error message. <coughs> I, I know that because I did it before. <laughs> that says you have a type conversion error in your total records field on row one and um, another one an hour spent and what they're saying to you is that you forgot to write that notice that you were having headers header rows that's what that error is and so you can always go, I had a bunch of them, I've deleted several of them, but you can check and see what your problems are as you're trying to do the import process. 
If, you, if at first you don't succeed, delete it and try again.